Pastor Tommy Murphy. I heard that God has the last say. Yes, the only say. Amen. In the, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, verse 1. Come on, Jesus. Verse 6, they the word which up. came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, <clears throat> go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause thee to hear. That was my daily bread. Was a summer about this morning. Oh wow! Thank you, Jesus. And behold, he wrought a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying in verse 6, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, said the Lord. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. We thank God for the reading of the word. Again, the, the, the focus today, the, uh, the, the, the theme of this lesson, the purpose of of the potter, the purpose, the purpose of, the of the potter. You can be seated. We praise God. Come on. Uh, in the, the word that the Lord is declaring today, as I move uh, along, we want to uh, work with time in these services as always. Uh, thank God for those that have assembled and for each of you that have joined us uh, on whatever platform you may be using, whether it's Facebook or YouTube. Um, through Vimeo, we just praise God for. Uh, again, for your uh, presence and for the presence of God uh, in the, this place. Uh, the message that I shared with you recently, as I said, involves some points uh, from the uh, perspective of the clay uh, of the potter, as it was on the wheel being formed. I think one of the interesting things is the fact that when you're being molded, you don't have very much. Uh, that you need to say to the one that's molding you, uh, but we often have lots of editorial to give to the God that's making us, the I God that's creating uh, and fashioning us uh, according oh, to his will. Well, the word said, listen, as it relates to that, is when we learn to trust God, what we do is say to God, you are eternal. And you know, listen, much better than we do uh, what the molding process should look like, and also you know more about what the end process will be uh, as it relates to our molding at the hand of the potter, who is God. But the lesson today deals with the actual purpose that the potter has for the clay as the potter is fashioning the clay on the wheel. The clay has a perspective. Uh, as I said, which I attempted to convey, and I came to tell you today that the potter has a perspective and a vision for the clay, uh, which I want to share with you uh, at this moment. God was telling Jeremiah, listen to this, to go to the potter's house. And I want you all to know that, listen, the potter's house, uh, not only uh, is it uh, perhaps a, a well-known name of the church in Dallas, but uh, it is, in fact, uh, an appropriate reference for any church. It is, in fact, the place. It is within, listen, the context and within the confines, uh, listen, of the church. It is the place where God, the potter, does the molding of each one of us as the clay. We are in the church being molded by God. God is doing the work in and through our lives, listen, at his hand. And this is why, you know, I think it's critical uh, it's interesting, in a season like we're in, where God told Jeremiah to go to church. And they want to know that, listen, going to church is the will of the Lord for every life. Amen? And you know, one of the things that I thought of as it relates to the trick of the enemy is the fact that in this season, when it's becoming more common now not to go to church, I want you to know that it's nothing more than a trick of the enemy. Let me say it another 65 times. Oh. Consider it done. Okay. Amen. Listen, it is the enemy's desire because you know the folks that you attend and worship service with that often say to you, I love you know the Lord, but I don't have a problem with God's people. How does that work? If you love the people of God, 
But, but you don't get, love his people. Okay. I can deal with church. If Come I on have now. To deal with the people. Who do you think the church is? The Amen. People. But God told Jeremiah. That's why, listen, That's I know shame. that it makes a difference, y'all, because some of us that work at home, huh? we love our jobs better now. And I took a shower when you do We so. have to deal with the folk Maybe in the office. The folk. Okay, Amen. Let me just ask you this. How bright is your light shining at your house? Away from the folk you're supposed to be witnessing to on your job. Okay. While you're at home doing whatever you're doing at the house. Okay. Amen. Ooh. Are you spending more time? Let me just move on here. But no, that's the purpose that God has for our lives. I'm not encouraging you to run back to the office. But what I'm saying to you is, listen, there's a purpose that God has for each of our lives. And there's a purpose God has us in the marketplace. God brought us to this place. For the purpose of declaring to a lost and dying world that Jesus Christ is still Lord. That's what the song declared to us today. And what he told Jeremiah, he said, listen, he could have sent him anyway. But he said, go down to the potter's house so you can see the work that I'm doing in my church. Everyone should know, listen, that it's the will of God for us to assemble. You can get the spiritual lessons taught by the Bible, listen, from the format that we're using right now, listen, relative to the electronic media, but there's a social aspect, listen, that's critical to our development that we miss when we're not physically assembling to accomplish the assignment God has for us as we endeavor to advance the kingdom of God. I want you to hear what I'm saying. There's a component to our development that will only be achieved as we physically meet and interact at the functions of the church and personally interact, listen to this, listen with those that are a part of the body of Christ. The Lord told us clearly, listen, as we find ourselves in the environment that we're in, what my encouragement is to you today, don't ever miss, listen, the importance of interacting with the saints of Almighty God and interacting with the world. Because God called us to be, listen, to be a light in the midst of the dark world that we live in. We can't be a light hidden under a bush. But God called us out for the purpose of declaring to a lost world, listen, that Jesus Christ still lives. you got to know that, listen, one facet of growth focuses on the pressure that is applied to help you to grow. That's what the word says. Listen, I know that it's easier for you to not interact in mass with folk. Listen, home from your job, home from the church. But pressure that's applied when you're interacting with different personalities and with different attitudes, Ooh. it does nothing more than help you to grow. That's right. Amen. After all, have we not considered for a moment what it's like for the other church folk to deal with us? Huh? Unless we feel like we've been perfected through some miracle that God didn't tell anybody about. Huh? Listen, we're just as special as the rest of God's choice vessels that he has molded on the wheel of the potter and placed on the shelf for all the world to see. Oh, glory to God. That's what the word says. Listen, you got to know that this facet of growth, listen to this, y'all, is applied to us to help us to grow. Huh? I'm often reminded that a baby in the womb is birthed normally at the time, listen, normally at the time it has maximized its environment within the mother and now requires something bigger, listen, as an environment, listen, such as the world and now to live in. So listen, the, birth, the birthing process has reminded us that the womb is now, listen, uh, incapable of holding and meeting the requirements of that child. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So listen, so the baby starts sending messages through the birth process. It's time for me to be promoted to another place. Glory to God. So that's when the birthing, listen, uh, process uh, initiates. And then listen, and you talk to any mother. Oh, glory to God. A brother don't have a testimony, but mothers do. Uh -huh. Glory to God. They'll tell you that there are some pains that come along with the birthing process, with moving from one place to, a, uh, to another. But God has orchestrated it for the purpose. Listen, there's pain, but then there's progress. 
Can somebody say thank God? Thank God. In the pain. In the pain. Uh-huh, this is The mother now requires something. Listen, All right, y'all. This is part one. Let's hit part two. This is the baby under goals of birth.